Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today we're gonna get to officially meet Zero. You've seen Zero in some of my other videos, but he hasn't really gotten an introduction video. So that's what we're going to film today. And I even wore my Milk Snake shirt just for this occasion. I got it at the Buffalo Expo. I've been wanting the shirt for a while, actually. They have it at every Buffalo Expo, but I was waiting until I got a Milk Snake to get the shirt. So I got Zero. I was able to finally get the shirt. So Zero here is my Mexican Milk Snake. He was a Craigslist buy. He was rehomed to me. Um, it was what I considered to be on the brink of a rescue situation, but I do classify him as a rehoming situation. Um, but he did come from Craigslist, and I'll get into that a little bit more in a minute. But Zero is Mexican Milk Snake. I am not entirely sure his age. I believe he's about two years old. His last owner had him for about eight months. Before that, got him at an expo. Um, I believe he said he was about two years old. I'll just check my files and see if I wrote it down or not. Um, but I'm not entirely certain. I don't know if he was certain either. But he's about two years old, I'm pretty sure. Um, Mexican milk snakes only get about 24 to 30 inches. So they don't quite reach three feet, more like two to two and a half feet. Um, which I believe he is about two and a half feet. I would say he hit that that 30 inch mark. I also like to point out the fact that this is the calmest Zero has ever been. Usually he's crazier than Phoenix to handle. But after, uh, he was a little nuts when I took him out. But now I've had him out for about 10, not 10 minutes, like five to six minutes. Um, and he's kind of calmed right down. Haven't you? You're being so good. So Mexican milk snakes are typically found around central Texas and Texas, central Texas and northeastern Mexico. Hence their name, the Mexican milk snake. Um, what I love about these guys is their colors. So some of you may know that for a long time now, I have been looking for a milk snake that has the red, white, and black coloring. That has been like the one thing I wanted. I looked for about a year on Craigslist, on Facebook, at expos. I would post about it on Craigslist and Facebook and nothing. Nothing, nada, zilch. There was one time I was close to getting one and the guy ended up having a family emergency and so it ended up not working out. So I was back to the search. So one day I was cruising through Craigslist. I think it was back in February, February or March and I saw this guy posted on Craigslist about four hours away from my home. So normally, I would not hop in the car and drive four hours in a day, like there and back would be eight hours. Um, I hate driving, I hate long car rides. But for this guy, I was doing it. So I hopped in the car the next day, drove four hours down to get him, and then four hours back home. And see, I jinxed it. He's not being very calm anymore. I get down there. It's a younger guy, kind of in the middle of nowhere. So it was a wee bit sketchy. Note to self, I need to stop going and picking up Craigslist reptiles by myself. Um, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I wanted the snake, so I went. And as a younger guy who had a couple different reptiles, we lived in this house with quite a few other people. Um, and they heavily, heavily smoked inside that house. Like I walked in and it was dark and everything just, it felt like there was a layer of just mm, on everything, the door handles, just the air. It was, not gonna lie, it was kind of hard to see in there between the smoke and just it being dark and I had trouble breathing in there. I left with a headache. I couldn't imagine what it was doing to the animals that were in there. So I was very, very grateful that I decided to drive the four hours to go and get him and get him out of that situation. He was also being kept in a 20 gallon tank, which for these guys is the recommended size. Um, but when I went home, I put him in a 20 gallon tank and I just felt like it was too small. So. He's not in that anymore. That was his quarantine tank that was a 20 gallon. And that's what he was kept in at his previous home. And he was kept on what appeared to be sand. 
and if I remember correctly, it was very bare. I don't think he had any hides. He had like a giant stick in the middle to climb on, and I think that was about it. So he was also on live food. Before the guy got him, he was on frozen thawed, and then he switched him to live, and then I switched him back to frozen thawed because I don't like feeding live. Um, but he doesn't have any problems taking frozen thawed. I will say he is a little skittish, as most milk snakes are, but he almost appears to be scared of the dead mice. Um, he's doing better now, but the first couple times I tried to feed him, he would literally just lash out and hiss at the mouse and hide. So I'd have to leave it for him, and he, eventually he'd go and eat it. But it was just kind of comical, because it almost seemed like he was scared of it. So anyway, I pick him up and i didn't bring anything to put him in which i should have i always 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 either ask or bring something when i'm picking up an animal he was the one time that i didn't and the guy put him in a cardboard box now if you think about snakes and think about what great escape artists they are you're probably thinking a cardboard box is not snake proof and you are right it is not so I put my half gallon water bottle on top of it, hoping that would be enough to keep it held down. Because after that, I went and picked up my hard nosed Penelope and then I drove home. Well, at some point during all of that, he pushed his way out and escaped the box. When I got home, I went right upstairs to put the snakes in their quarantine enclosures and the box was empty. There were zero snakes inside of that box, hence how he got his name, Zero. I am very, very fortunate that we eventually did find him. My boyfriend took apart quite a bit of my car. Um, he stopped once it got to the dashboard. He said he wasn't gonna take apart the dashboard, but he took apart a lot of other things. And I left a heat lamp and a hide and a dead mouse inside of my car, inside of the garage for days and drove my dad's truck and my mom's car to work every day. So every time we walked out, we'd make a habit of looking in the windows to see if we saw him or not. About three days, I think it was, my mom was leaving, I think to pick up my brother from somewhere, and she happened to look in and she saw him curled up on the floor. So she called my cell phone, told me to get my butt downstairs and get my snake. There were a lot more uh, vulgar words in her phone call than that, but because this is a family friendly channel, I am not going to say what it was that she actually said to me, but you can use your imagination. You'll probably be right. Um, so I went flying downstairs and sure enough, there he was. My mom looked at me and she goes, what are you gonna put him in? And I go, what do you mean? She goes, well, what are you gonna do? I'm like, I'm gonna open the door and grab him. And then she was like, well, what are you gonna put him in? I'm like, I'm going to take him upstairs and put him in the enclosure. <laughs> so she was just very confused as to why I didn't bring anything down to put him in, but I was like, why would I do that? I'm just gonna pick him up, bring him upstairs and put him in the enclosure. So I was a little bit worried that he had been sitting in the car for three days. He probably wasn't gonna be very happy with me grabbing him. And I mean, he really, he was not that happy. Um, I did feel a little, little bit of wet smelly stuff on my hand, but he didn't like full out musk. So that was good. But yeah, so he disappeared in my car for about three days after I drove eight hours in one day to go get him and had a raging headache and really didn't want to deal with a snake missing in my car. So he definitely has given me a run for my money, but he's been good now. He's much, much better now. So I did ask the guy why he was getting rid of him. I always, always ask people why they're getting rid of their animals just to see if maybe there has something to do with the animal itself, any medical conditions, or temperament problems, so I always ask. And he said that, you know, after eight months of having him, he just was not interested in him anymore. He was more interested in bigger snakes, boas, and pythons. Um, originally, he wanted to breed him, but he couldn't find a female that looked like him to breed him with. And it's probably a good thing, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so he's with me now, it's been, I don't know, four or five months. I got him in like March, April, May, June, July. Four months, 
Oh, I've only had you for four months. Hmm. So yeah, that is my big boy. My Mexican milk snake zero. My big, long, beautiful noodle. And now I'm gonna put him away and I'm gonna take you guys with me so you can see his enclosure because he is one of the snakes. I did just get a new enclosure. And if you watched my recent video where I showed you all the new enclosures, you would have seen it. But I'll show you it anyway because I always show enclosures in my Meet My Animal videos. So, let's go put Zero away. All right, so this is Zero's enclosure. He's kind of disparaged a little bit, but not too bad. We've got his cool hide over here, his warm hide over here. It's some pork under there that he likes to curl up in. And then just this big piece of wood that he likes to climb on because I swear he thinks that he is a tree boa. And then his water dish in the front here. So this tank, the floor space is equivalent to a 30 gallon tank. So it is pretty long. It's not very, I mean, it's not very long, but it is a big tank. So it's equal to the size of a 30 gallon. And like I said, everyone recommends a 20 gallon for these snakes. So already, even though this is more square than it is long, it is bigger than the recommended size for these guys. And he's been doing really well in it and he seems to absolutely love his new enclosure. So let's put him away, shall we? Here you go, you wanna go home? Oh, they're going that way, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you liked it and you don't want to miss more videos. And we'll see you next time.